friends, how's it going? I hope this video finds you well. Today is another recorder lesson, so please grab your recorder um, and pause the video and warm up for yourself and then come back. Okay, <clears throat> today is a very exciting day. Um, today is the day we are going to be focusing on T, the note T which is the last note that we need to complete an entire scale on recorder, up and down, do to do. So, <clears throat> this is what T looks like. T, thumb still on the back, index finger on top, all of the other holes uncovered. Of course, when you're playing, you're gonna be doing hover fingers, so it won't look as obvious as what I'm doing right now. I'm just doing this so that you can see, okay? Nice, so that's T. Give it a little blow. And then go up to Do. Let's go back and forth, T to Do a couple of times. Ready? Good. T is the note name B. In your packet, you can see that it is on the um, third line up on the staff, the note name B. But in recorder, we're gonna to refer to it more often as T. <clears throat> so here's what we're gonna do right off the bat, because this completes our scale. We are going to go up, this, up and down the scale, okay? And I'm going to pause and show you my fingers before we play each new note. So get ready on your low do. We're going to go all the way up and back down with our new note T completing our scale. Okay, here we go. Let's go back down. Ready? Let's do that one more time. What we're focusing on right now is the turnaround between T and Do. T, Do, then we go back down, boom, boom. That's a little bit tricky because we have to turn around and remember that this is La. And then we are also focusing on making sure we get Fa, when we're, especially when we're coming back down, remembering Sol, Fa, okay? So some tricky turnarounds here and transitions. Let's do it one more time. Same thing, ready? On your low do. Here we go, nice and slow. Awesome. Okay, remember, you can always rewind and use that to practice um, as much as you need to to get those transitions, okay? But hey, congratulations! That's your whole scale! That's an entire scale on recorder. Virtual high five. Awesome. Um, <clears throat> today, we are going to be practicing our tea with the song Under the Spreading Chestnut Tree. Okay, you guys have heard this song before. We, um, we've sung it before in class. So it's in your T packet and it's on the last page. T page two. See that under the spreading chestnut tree? Okay, I'm going to sing this just so we remember what we, um, what we sang in class. Mm, here we go. One, two. Under the spreading chestnut tree
You guys remember this one? Cool. I thought you would. <clears throat> All right, let's count this thing, right? First thing we do when we're looking at a new piece is count it. Um, the one thing that is tricky that you guys are not professionals at yet because this is full of ta's and t's and ta ahs. You guys know all that. The first measure, let's look at that first measure together. That first measure sounds like this. T ta t. Do it with me. Look at the music. T ta t. Good. Under the under the all right that's the only thing that's that's um a little bit different about this rhythm scan the song see if you see that rhythm anywhere else looking ahead mm -hmm. you probably see it on the bottom line measure 13 we see that t ta t again so we're gonna watch out for that everything else is super simple so we're gonna have a nice steady beat like this Bum, bum. One, two, count with me. Ti ta, ti ta, 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 ta. Good. Very simple. That's the only time we're going to do that because this is um, a pretty easy song for you guys because you know so much. Let's do our solfege now. <clears throat> what note does this song start on for us? I see that it's one line below the staff. So I know that that is C, the note C, and in recorder that is Do, right. Perfect. So here's what I'd like you to do. Um, I would like you to pause the video and I would like you to write in your solfege syllables above the notes. You guys know all the notes. It might take you a little while to figure it out, but you know all of these notes. So pause it and write them in and then come back. Okay, good. Let's sing this on solfege um, really slowly. So like one and two and ready and sing. Do, do, re, mi, so, mi, re, do, re, Remember guys, you can always rewind if you want to practice more or if you need um, some extra extra time with the hand signs, okay? But since this is a video, we're going to keep going. <clears throat> and let's finger it. Um, we start on our dough, all fingers down. We're going to keep going really slowly like that, okay? So, mm, sing with me. One and two. Do, do, re, mi, so, mi, re, do, re, Do, do, re, mi, so, mi, re, do. 
Awesome. Okay, so our favorite part, playing. <clears throat> nice and slow still. Start on our do with all fingers down. One and two and ready and play. Okay, I wanted to tell you guys a little bit more about that ti ta ti rhythm. In music, there is a thing called syncopation. Syncopation. And syncopation is any time in music where you have a strong beat going, a strong steady beat, and then there's something in the music that makes the weak beat feel like it's stronger than the strong beat. So this is an example of syncopation. We have our steady beat going, right? Steady beat. And under the spreading chestnut tree, bum ba bum ba ba. Do you guys hear how the weak part of the beat is emphasized? We have under the spreading chestnut tree. Do that with me. Do that with me. Give a little punch for under the spreading chestnut tree. One more time. Under the spreading chestnut tree. Yeah, that's what syncopation is. Saying this song and emphasize the strong beats instead, here's what it would sound like. Instead of under the spreading chestnut tree. It would be under the spreading chestnut tree. Both of them sound pretty good, right? Both of them sound normal. But the way that we do it with the syncopation, with emphasizing that weak beat, bum, ba, ba, it's just a little bit more interesting. It makes our ears perk up and listen because we think that things should be falling on the strong beat. Also, another thing that makes this a really good example of syncopation is that it puts the emphasis on the syllable of the word that we don't usually emphasize. How do we say the word under? Under, right? The emphasis is on the first syllable. Do this with me. Under. Under. Right. What syncopation does by making this big beat on the second syllable of under is it makes us listen because that's not how we usually say that word. So instead of under, this is under. Do that with me, under. Now move with me and sing it, okay? We're gonna sing the whole song and in those two places where we have syncopation, I want you to show it with your body like I'm doing, okay? So, mm, one, two, ready and under the spreading chestnut tree, there we sit, both you and me. Oh, how happy we will be under the spreading chestnut tree. Good. Um, there are more songs for you to practice uh, syncopation with these rhythms that emphasize the weak beat where you really have to be counting. So it's very important when you're practicing these syncopated songs to make sure that you have your counting right. If you want to write in ta and titi above notes when you're going through it, 
if that helps you, that might be a good idea because syncopation is all about surprising you with the rhythm. And um, so just make sure when you're practicing those that you are making sure you have the right rhythm, okay? All of the songs that are in that syncopa um, packet have these syncopated rhythms in them, okay? As always, you guys can email me um, or send me videos of what you're working on or if you have any questions, I would love to be helping you. Um, miss you guys and I will see you on Zoom.